Hello everyone. Unfortunately, I have some bad news today. Last night when we visited our grandma, she fell off the stairs in the basement and hurt her back. So Maria decided to stay with her until she gets better. Fiona has a show jumping competition coming up next week and we cannot really cancel it since we had already paid the registration fee. So I will have to enter instead of Maria. It will be hard going back by myself with two horses but I'm sure everything will be alright. I start tagging up Delphine before it gets too dark on the way back home. I'm sure Fiona will miss her mom. <coughs> Maria waves us one last goodbye and off we go back home. This is Fiona's first time getting lead like this, so she doesn't quite understand what to do yet. I keep pulling and releasing my pressure when she comes forward, and eventually she calms down and understands to walk beside us. After a bit of struggle along the way, we finally arrive home. The weather feels a bit chilly today, so I will be putting both of them in the stall. I book a jumping lesson tomorrow morning since we don't have a lot of time to prepare. So I have to make use of the little time that we have. What a nice morning today. The baby seem excited as well. It has been a while staying by myself, but Toby, the neighbor's dog, was sleeping with me last night, so it wasn't that lonely. Both of them seem to have rested well last night. Hopefully Fiona won't do any bunny jump today. I wait for a bit before leading Fiona to the hitching post until I am sure that she's calm and ready to go. I don't want any accident to happen since I'm alone, so I will be extra super careful of every step I took. I give her a quick groom and put Delphine in the paddock, then start tagging up Fiona. The lesson will be taking place at the Citadel Rock near Valentine. We don't have any jumping arena here in the heartland, so the locals kindly set up the jump for us rider to use for free when there's a competition going on in St. Denis. Oh, I see Gary waiting for us right there. Gary had been teaching Maria and I since we were young. He had won many competitions, both national and international. He will also be entering the Saint Denis competition with his younger horse right there. This is my first jumping lesson with Fiona. I told Gary about what I want to improve and what I want to achieve with Fiona in the ring. Gary let us first start doing some flat work. He wants to see how I handle Fiona. Fiona gets very excited just by seeing the jump, so 
I do a lot of walk trot transition, making sure she listen to both my hand and legs. Lots of collected and extended trots. After that, Gary let us work on the trotting pole. You can see that Fiona likes to lift her head up and drift to the side. Gary reminds me to keep the contact and leg on. Making sure her shoulder is straight and relaxed. <coughs> then we move on to the cavaletti. It is okay if she makes mistakes. I just want to make sure to keep her in a straight line. I am so glad I keep my leg on because she wasn't so sure about that second jump. We try again and much better this time. I give her lots of packs to boost her confidence. After I feel comfortable with her, I then ask for a canter. She gets a bit excited and rush to the jumps and nearly trip over the second jump. Cavaletti is not a high jump, but it makes the horse think about their length of stride and where to put their feet. Perfect for a horse that like to rush to a fence like Fiona. Next, we move on to the jumps. It will be a vertical to vertical, one stride, and three stride to a cross pole. The problem that I have is that I tend to turn a bit tight before the jump, making it hard for the horse to jump in a straight line. But Fiona carries me on like a champ and I'm so glad by that. I then try again and this time turning a bit wider and looking at the fins faster. Next, we move on to another vertical to vertical, one stride.
Yet again, Fiona took it like a champ. She perfectly listened to my aid and stop. I can't believe how will Fiona handle herself today. She gets a bit hype up here and there, but still listen to my hands and legs. Since she carries herself so well today, we try jumping at an angle and back again to the two vertical. Lots of pets for the best girl. Gary then raises up the cross pole. We'll be entering a 120 class. Not this high, but since Fiona enjoys it so much, why not give it a go? A bit nerve-wracking, but feels like I'm flying. Never jumped this high before. We finish off with the last round, but uphill this time. I'm sure after this, Maria will be so proud of Fiona. I'm so proud of Fiona today. I'll be resting Fiona for a bit before we ride back home. <laughs> Lots of pets and treats for the goodest girl. Gary and I then have a chat about the competition day and plans for the travel. We will be traveling together to Saint Denis. Both Fiona and his young horse, Indico, will be in the same coach. Before it gets too dark, I must be on my way. Off we go back home. You can see Delphine waiting at the paddock gate. Unfortunately, he won't be able to go to Saint Denis with us. It is such a nice weather today, so I will let Fiona stay in the paddock tonight. She is such a good girl today and I'm so proud of her. Today lesson had taught me many things and I'm so grateful that Gary was so patient with us. Oh, someone is calling out to me on the other side of the pet dog. I'm coming soon, my baby. Thank you so much everyone for watching until the end. I hope you enjoy this journey as much as I do. And I'm so ready for the competition. See you again soon. Bye-bye.